and welcome to episode 3 of the Lowdown Show UK on the No Hold Barred Network, which is minus 9.99 a month. That means free if you don't understand that. Right, we also give you the latest news in UK indie scene, NXT UK, WWE main roster from at Lowdown Show, and also the latest in NXT from at Lowdown Show NXT. Now that's tweeted out that we are live. So hopefully we get a few a few guys in. So um yeah today I've got um a lot and a lot of hap- happened this week. Um ICW was on. We have that to talk about. And also um I had a few questions asked in for the show. So that is um, what we get on to is, but before we start the show, I'm going to actually touch on WWE 2K19. Now, I've seen the trailers, and let me tell you this, they, it looks really good. I like the whole indie scene they've added in to the old prospect. I think it was BCW. And um, I'm enjoying it. The gameplay looks good as well. So, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to get that. So, yeah, I'm just, uh, sorry, I'm just um, replying to a message from my fiance. We are live. Alright, that's done. Alright. Yeah, I was just saying, like, with uh, 2K19, like, I'm, like, so, so I'm liking what I'm seeing with the story mode. I just can't wait to play it, but obviously they've made an improvement from the last two. Like, I think it was 2K16 was my favourite one in the 2K1, like, oh era, High Cubid Girl. Yes, 100%, 100%, agree with you there, they have hit the spot of the game. I like the, um, obviously I see um, someone play, like, the start of the show. Like, where he's building up, he's got to have an indie match and he gets an NXT contract to try off Braun Strowman. I did like that. I like the fact that Strowman said no autographs. <laughs> that was quite good. But yeah, that was, um, I'm really looking forward to it. I'll be obviously on PS4. I'm going to try and do a YouTube series. I, I tried it last year, but I must admit, I was not enjoying it last year. I tried to do some recently. I kept going against TJP every week. So, yeah, we'll see what happens from there. Anyway, I'll get back to the show. I um, had a few tweets sent in because I asked, like, if you've got any questions, please send into the show. And um, the man, the man of the hour, Carl Masters, who is the creator of No Holds Barred, he's brought us all together, he's got you this show. He sent me in a question. Obviously, Carl Ho- co-host uh, Lowdown the next. That's NXT spell in there. He asked, "When is NXT UK starting?" And I mentioned last week it was sometime in October. Now I don't know. As nothing is mentioned when I f- when I find out, we'll we'll tweet out straight away. But I've got to say, I, I am looking forward to it. A couple of my fave fives are in involved, like Scott Supernova, the Prince of the Pinky Party, Noam Dar, and also uh, Minnie McKenzie. Check her out. Um, I'm sure she still is a tag champion with Pete Dunne. I'm not 100 percent sure. But I'd have to uh, check that out a bit more, a bit more research into that. It's quite funny there. I think it's all on Instagram. Sometimes Pete Dunne puts that with. He had a picture of Trent Seven and Tyler Bate with the with the fr- my friends and Millie, which was uh, quite funny. So yeah, right. Let's get that. Noam still has. Um, I'm sure he has actually. I'm sure he still has his match with. I haven't heard nothing about it because I remember he won that match. Hey, four way. He was meant to. Either. I think that was me who put that one Cupid girl. I did message that, and I don't know why I'm on 
I've got the no hold barred one up. <laughs> but yeah, I remember him winning that fatal four way. I, yeah, still definitely has that match because um Oh, I can't remember his name. I can't remember his name, he won the Scott Ah, oh, I feel bad now, I can't remember his name. But I remember he won the, the tournament. He's one of my favourites as well. I can't I can't believe I forgot his name. He won the tournament and faced him that night. But I'm sure he had a he had another match recently against Peter Dunn, but hopefully Nyan Dar's match coming up soon. Maybe at the first NXT UK takeover if they do something like that. I hope so. As I was saying, I've got some more questions sent in, but uh, I want to talk about first what happened at ICW. Yeah, that's right, the coffee, yeah. Joe Coffee, Mark Coffee. That's how them. Um, yeah, I was going to talk about what happened at ICW on Sunday Night That's Gone. But uh, before I go into that, I want to shout out to our sponsor, Extreme Wrestling Shirts. Go check them out. They have some amazing stuff. I've obviously checked them out recently. They've got even do legend shirts as well. I've seen the Andre the Giant shirt on there. Hi, Chloe. Welcome to the, the show. All right, here we go with ICW. Brave Heart, or it's called, after Lionheart. All right, we had um, Chris Renfrew. He had a, like, a birthday bash with, obviously, BT Gun, like the New Age click. Aspen Faith interrupted, which led to Lewis Griven attacking mm -hmm. the Knack from behind. And uh, uh, then, obviously, they stapled, listen to this, stapled happy birthday to Chris Renfrew's chest and arm. Oh, that's painful. I did see a picture of it. It looked quite painful. Then uh, Renfrew challenged the King of Catch to a, mat a chairs match in two weeks' time. So that's New Age Click first. The King of Catch. I'm trying to get Chloe to watch a bit of ICW, but she, she won't do it. I don't know what she's doing. She could come join me in the stream if she wanted. Uh, next we had uh, Kez Evans. He defeated Kaylee Ray. So, like, by pinfall. A Fiper came out. Well, obviously, I know you guys know who Fiper is. And challenged Kaylee Ray at the Hydro. Uh, Ray apparently declined. Again, this, it said the, again, so it must have happened. Declined a couple of times. But uh, Mark Dallas entered and made it official for Fear and Lo Lupin. I'm looking forward to that. That is true, Chloe. I was on the phone. Uh, Eston Rees defeated uh, my man Shah Samuels. Uh, Rees attempted to hit Shah with a chair. Obviously, Jack Jester grabbed the chair and tried to hit Rees, but ended up hitting Shah instead. See, it's not good for the kinky party there, but um, that's open up Jack Jester first Bram in a couple of weeks in the next ICW show. So, yeah, obviously that's leading up to... In... I don't know what the Briscoe brothers... I don't know who they're going to be facing, but I think it will be the kinky party. Well, next up we had a uh, red line offered Aaron Echo a Rudo sports and entertainment contract before Echo could answer. Red said he noticed a mistake and tore the contract up. Kenny Williams, obviously who signed by NXT UK, he was on a 205... Uh, not long ago, attacked Echo and gave obviously gave him a low blow. So obviously Kenny Williams uh, turned heel not long ago. He's a big fan of uh, Kenny Williams. So I don't like what he's doing to old Aaron Echo, the king of bed and dorm apparently. There's quite a few for videos on Instagram. You guys to check out. Uh, yeah, next up we had a uh, Lionheart defeated Adam Maxted. He was in Love Island, I believe that Maxted. I was a big fan of Lionheart myself. Joe Coffey defeated Mikey Whiplash. Great match. I love seeing Whiplash in the ring. But after the match, um, Mark Dallas told Whiplash that the world is evolving and that he will see sense one way or, an or another. So we'll pause there. Uh, Kay Ray's a heel, yeah. She's a heel. Uh, 
lost track there. Um, yeah, we'll pause there. Like obviously to say, um, Whiplash has has always been doing death matches lately. But obviously, he's calmed down a bit, and um, obviously he's just took his paint off. He's like just been wrestling normal. Yeah, he is crazy. He was partners with Nathan Cruz. Ah, Nathan Cruz. Yes, that's right. I am totally lost now where I was. Yeah, I'll say death matches are hardcore matches. He got told to change like his style in the ring. But um he was against Ravy Davy a few weeks ago and snapped. Because he didn't want to use it. He had the chair out, weren't gonna use it. Ravy Davy put the fingers up at him. Chair shots, brutal chair shots. Which led to Mark Dallas coming out. And obviously the fans were obviously on Whiplash's side saying fuck the rules and all that. What's well, quite it's like still a little feud between Whiplash and Mark Dallas, Mark Dallas the owner of ICW. Actually, I do Whiplash is good in the hardcore mode and in normal wrestling as well because he can go. But he has not been winning lately. Uh, this is what happened. Obviously, I said about fuck the rules bit. But Joe Hendry. Now, every time I mention Joe Hendry. I'll play this. Joe Hendry makes things better. He can wrestle, he can sing. Joe Hendry makes things better. Thursdays on Impact Wrestling. That's the new thing there. Uh, Joe Hendry attacked Whiplash. Now, I am looking forward to um, this match. We've got Fear and Loop, Loop they got this match coming up. And I'm looking forward to this. Mark Dallas raised Joe Hendry's hand right at the end. Joe Hendry makes things better. He can wrestle, he can sing. the rules now, I've got to play this song every time. Joe Hendry makes things better. Thir Thank you very much. Um, so we have a good housekeeping volume 2. Now I tweeted out earlier to Cupid Girl and a few of others to watch the first one. Liam Thompson defeated Wolfgang to win his sink back. Alright, yes. He won his sink back. <laughs> the first one, obviously just sent the first one out. But he, Liam Thompson won his sink back. <coughs> Wolfgang put his washing machine up in the first match. Liam Thompson put his sink up. This match, volume 2, there was a play, a giant sponge was involved in this match. You don't even need to watch the match, you just got to see the pictures, there was a giant sponge. Literally a giant sponge in this match <laughs> Wolfgang was holding. But yeah, well done to Liam Thompson, winning his sink back. I watched the match, that was insane, yeah, it was, uh, it was quite a good match. So yeah, the, um, I think it was the Purge was there. That was there, speaking of the Purge, they, <clears throat> they lost to the Fight Network. Let's go have a drink because my throat's gone funny. <clears throat> yeah, lots of them. And the purge brawled after the match, though. It's been heated up with them over the last couple of weeks. Can't remember the name of one of the brothers got like a short fuse, and he just goes like he attacks a few people on the last show. But yeah, so it was a matter of time before this all happened. All right, next we had the ICW Zero G Championship match. Mark Coffey, the champion, defeated Aaron Echo to retain his title. Kenny Williams, Liston Rees, Joe Coffey and Red Lightning attacked Mark and Aaron after the match. Joe Coffey announced that it will be Brother First Brother, the Hydro, for the Sierra G Championship now. Brother First Brother, always got to look forward to that. But I don't know how this plays because in NXT UK they're a team. So I don't know why they're going down this route. I know it's been planned a long time, this. But as I say, I'm looking forward to it. They both could go in a ring. I uh, have good chemistry. Next up, we have Joe Hendry. Joe Hendry makes things better. He can wrestle, he can sing. Joe Hendry makes things better. Thursdays on Impact Red. He defeated Grado, which was a shock because Grado's not long returned, but so did Hendry not long returned. Which has confused me because they're best friends in TNA. So. <laughs> Next up we had ICW World Heavyweight Championship match was on the line. 
saying about DCT has been uh, doing his open challenges and uh, Jackie Polo Just Justice except they obviously attacked him last week Mesmi friends these were but we have a brand new world heavyweight champion Jackie Polo with Coach Trip defeated DCT by a TKO to win a title like, amazing I was so you got both of Polar Promotion single touch champions after their split. Like they when they lost the tag titles, they split. Both single champions now. But I'm so gutted for DCT. Like the end of the match was brutal. The end of the match. Uh, yeah, I was, I was very shocked. But yeah, well done to Jackie Polo. So well, that was a uh, that was basically the ICW really. Quite a good show, like a lot of shit happens. They obviously they don't have a lot of women's matches in these shows, but I know the women get involved a lot. So yeah, see um what happens in the next show. I'll be obviously up to date with all your latest ICW news. I know quite a few of you like the ICW. But yeah, let's move on to my next segment, which I haven't got a f- a little theme so, so let's play this one for it. Yeah, that will do. But we've got, um, Tweet of the Week is by at Bad Boy Liam T. That's, uh, Liam Thomas. A picture of him and his sink. And it's got, it's just got reunited. And obviously I can't show you the picture because this ain't recorded, video recorded. But you go check him out. That's, uh, Liam Thompson's Twitter account. Very good. Obviously, now that I've got the ICW out of the way, I had um, I've got questions. Obviously, I'll start off with at Michael Chow TV, co-host of NXT podcast on the network. Go give him a follow. He asks opinion of wrestlers from UK, including NXT and main roster talent, that you like or that you believe have promising future. I've started off. I put down Drew McIntyre, hundred percent. He has a great future ahead of him. McIntyre, like when he broke into WWE, I thought that's it, world title written all over him. But then he obviously slacked down a bit. He had a few icy title reigns, and um, I think he won the tag title with Cody Rhodes. Am I correct there? And, um, mm-hmm. yeah, he went all, like, sour, really. It just went downhill for him. And then, obviously, he returned. Like, big and about NXT champion, he beat Bobby Roode. Obviously, unfortunately for the injury. Obviously, tag champion now with Sigler. But I don't know, I could see Sigler, uh, not Sigler, McIntyre break out on his own. And go for that universal title, because I reckon he, could, he deserves it. I was going to say Becky, but she's just won the title, so she's got a great future for a few more titles. I think she'll move to Raw when the next uh, split happens. Uh, next up, I've put down Joe Hendry. Joe Hendry makes things better. He can wrestle, he can sing. Joe Hendry makes things better. Thursday's on Impact Wrestle. I see, uh, he uh, does it all, like, he even sings in a ring, you know, like, sings, like, you should see his latest one he done for TNA, it was really good, he had a uh, Charles Samuels in it, actually, but yeah, obviously everyone, if you've not seen him perform in the ring, check him out, don't want to say his name, because I've got to play his theme song again, I've also um, put down Millie McKenzie, like, she's only 18, obviously has a really bright future, I will smash it in NXT UK, in my opinion. To be fair, like she, I said, she's a tag champion with Pete Dunne, if she still is with Pete Dunne. But yeah, she'll do really well in NXT UK. I can see her in the main roster, Mini McKenzie, Suplex McKenzie. See, I've seen her live when she was 17, she was good. So, I mean, uh, next, I've put my favourite, BT Gun. 
one of the best wrestlers in the UK. Obviously my favourite. That'll be Fave 5, he's number one. I think Dar comes second. But yeah, you just got to check BT Gun out, to be fair. He's done it all in ICW. First Grand Sand champion. First duo champion. Uh, Defiant. Defiant Wrestling is the hard, former hardcore champion. Should have teamed with Joe Coffey still. I know he suffered an injury not long ago. BT Gun at the start of the year. Took him out for a while. But yeah, he's a... Uh, Bought all of his merch nearly, need to get his latest stuff, but yeah, check him out, please, everyone. Actually, well, check all four of them out, obviously. Thank you very much, Michael. Uh, next question is from my number one fan of the show, uh, Cupid Girl 125, that's at CG, well, C Girl 125. Uh, she asked, can you talk about Joe Hendry? About to say again, don't I? Joe Hendry makes things better. He can wrestle, he can sing. Joe Hendry makes things better. Thurs- can you talk about how he is the greatest wrestler in all of the UK? And um, also do a fantasy booking on a UK WrestleMania. That was a great question. Now, Joe Hendry. Oh, that's Joe again. Joe Hendry makes things better. He can wrestle, he can sing. Joe Hendry makes things better. Thursday's on impact. Now, I've got to say about him. He has not been doing this long. He made his debut in 2013. Like, what a talent he has become. Like, I remember talking to... I think it was at an IPW event. He said, oh, who do you like? And I mentioned him. And he goes, you know what? For someone who hasn't been doing it long, he's broke out on his own very well. And obviously, he competed at uh, Freestyle Wrestling, Amateur Freestyle Wrestling tournaments in 2016. After winning the National Championship, he entered the uh, Australian Commonwealth Games in 2018. I'm not sure where he finished. In that, but that is very true. It's not going to get old. But obviously, uh, I said a uh, great singer, and uh, I said watch his TNA stuff. But also, his ICW theme songs are just as good. Himself, you know, you got to check them out. Well, I remember it. Obviously, was it Grado? He done one last year when Grado was here. Was quite funny. Like Grado's nicked his sandwich. It was good. Um, I wish he would be in actually NXT UK, but main roster he deserves. Like I could see him having a good run with the Universal Title, in my opinion. And I know you've got yeah, that's all on Mister Local Hero. Like, I know you've actually asked me about the fantasy booking. I've actually not written anything down. Now it's true about Kurt Angle. He did win the uh, the Rumble to face Kurt Angle. I remember. Actually turned on Kurt Angle as well. I gave him a low blow. But yeah, I, was, I put down about the fantasy booking. Oh, obviously Drew McIntyre will be main event straight away. Just all blank at the minute. So, how many matches, Cupid Girl, am I allowed to have at this WrestleMania? Because I don't know how to start the show. I might start for if she's in the UK, obviously using WWE talent. Is it a cross between WWE and NXT UK? Because I think I'd have. Um, I don't know if I'll put the shield in. About 12 matches, okay, so I'll take the shield out. I'll put them in. No, I'll add a shield in. I'll have, to open the show, I'll have um, an eight man ladder match for the ICW title. I'd have Seth Rollins as a champion, him going into Mania as a champion. Uh, Wolfgang, I could chuck Wolfgang in there. 
Oh, who else? Who else? Um, who else could I have? Yeah, I'll have, yeah. Wolfgang, Seth Rollins. Uh, this is hard, actually. Because some people I don't want to be in, I want in that match, but I want to be in other matches. Uh, I'll have Jody Fitch, I'll have him in there. If you don't know him, check him out, please. Uh, who else? Who else could I have in this? Bobby Roode, I'll chuck Bobby Roode in there. This is hard, this is hard. Um, who else? Who else could I have in this match? Uh, hmm. Sack Ryder, there you go. Uh, I've got Tyler Bate in a different match. Sack Ryder. Uh, God, this is odd. Sack Ryder, I'd have Marty Skrull in that match as well. He's a signed to NXT UK, in my opinion. So this, that's six. I need two more. One more from WWE, one more from UK. Uh, Joseph Connors from the UK. And who do I like? Like. Fact, I'll just put Dolph Ziggler in, in there. So there you go. That's a not a bad little opener, to be fair. Next up, I'd have Tyler Bate first. Tyler Bate first. I had him down to fight someone. I can't remember who it was. Tyler Bate first. AJ Styles for the WWE title. There you go. Can't go wrong with that. That's not a bad Tyler Bates guy either. Who gee, they've put him into a WWE title match with AJ Styles. I'm not putting this in order. I like put that the ladder match opens a show, but I've got Tyler Bates first, AJ Styles. I'd have Pete Dunne defend his WWE United Kingdom title against. Samoan Joe. Now that'll be a fucking hard hitting match to be fair. I'd have a fatal four way death match for the US title. Ty Dillinger will be the United States champion at this stage. With Shinsuke Nakamura against Jimmy Havoc and Mikey Whiplash. Now, a death match with Shinsuke Nakamura in, I can't go wrong. I should have just... Or should I take Shinsuke out of that match and add in Jeff Hardy? Now, I'd actually leave a question mark on that one. So I've got their matches with the US title. That one would have the tag titles on the line. Who could we have going in as a tag champion? Um... We'll say the New Day. Got the New Day in there. We'd have Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods defending the title. Also the Bar defending. The, the Bar's moved over to Raw, so they're defending the Raw Tag Team title. No. No, forget the Bar. The Revival, the Raw Tag Team title champions. So New Day first, the Bar. The Revival, sorry. Botchamania, we are live. First, New Age Click, BT Gun and Chris Renfrew. I wanted to put BT Gun much higher up in the card, but New Age Click are back. First, uh, who could I go against? Um, a four-way tag match. No, let's just leave it at that. Three-way tag match, TLC. We've had two ladder matches on for WrestleMania. There we go. Because I was going to throw in um, the Young Bucks that I signed. That I signed in my eyes. <laughs> uh, right, so we've got them titles on the line. We've got all the tag titles on the line. We'll have the women's title, Raw. We'll have uh, Ronda Rousey first. Shayna Baszley for the title. SmackDown Women's title would have... Millie McKenzie first, Becky Lynch 
first Katie Ray. Then we'll have obviously an exhibition match. Nia Jax first fiver. There you go, we've got three women matches on the card. How many is that gone gone? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight matches I've got. Four more to do. Universal tile will be Roman Reigns. First who could we have him in the UK? I should have been Pete Dunn to be fair. Uh oh, Cupid Girl, you could ask that. Who would Roman Reigns face? And I'll try and think of a, another question. Another match to have. Um We gotta have Braun Strowman first, Walter. That'll be an insane match, that one. Who else? Who else could we have? Finn Balor. First. Jordan Devlin. Jordan Devlin first. Finn Balor. Trainer. First trainee. They say, yeah, we'll have a dance off. That'll do. Or Martina first. Stone Cold in the drink off. There you go. You could have that. We've got to throw some 205 in there. That's a battle, uh, a multi man battle roll for the cruiserweight title. Throw that in there with uh, I'll say no, I'm dial winning, but I have a feeling I might put Leo Rush over. Ah, uh, that's the one I was thinking of Roman first Rampage Brown. Now, that will be a really good match. And we've got to throw in a legend match because Triple H likes to fight every year. We'd have Triple H first, Doug Williams. And then we'd also have Dave Massey first, the Big Show. Big Show's last match in the UK. We'd have it there. So, who would you guys want to have in your fantasy booking? And why? Why about Rampage Brown? That is a wicked match, that is. That is a good, actually good call, that one. Alright, uh, so what else? anyone got any questions to ask? Because. See, I like Will Ospreay in to win a Cruiserweight title, but I want him on the main roster. Will Ospreay first, Sex Sabre Jr. First. Ricochet. No, that would be a good match. Very good match. I don't know if Chloe's still watching, but I don't know where she's gone. Oh, but yeah, that's my fantasy book, and I was going to plan it in for next week to do that, but I did that. We've not even written anything down for that, because I was going to take a couple of days to think of that. I did that live and in colour. And we'll just throw, yeah, that's, as a pre-show, we'll have Finocchi first, Ravy Davy, get Finocchi out of retirement. you got to have SmackDown's number one announcer in there. Oh, CM Punk makes a return, faces Colt Cabana in a legal case match. You know, stuff like that won't happen, but... Hey, you never know, it might happen. Oh, I'm very tired, it is late over here today. Right. Right, I didn't actually have a tweet of the week I did say about the picture of Liam Thompson. But um, I did have wrestler of the week. Um, I did give it to actually two men. I gave it Friday to Will Ospreay and Walter. And I know Walter ain't from UK technically. But if you see their match they had. Oh, I could touch on that. Right, everyone knows I don't really watch much of the main roster. I used to watch it always live. But fuck me. What breed did to live Morgan? Jesus. Oh, it was hard to see that because... Like, I thought they would have given the extra away. I knew like Brie 
new science wrong, but see, like people are saying, defending Brie, like saying, oh, she's been out of it a long time, and like, it was an accident. Like you can't really say she's been out of it a long time, or some people are saying she's done it on purpose. Like she was jealous of Liv Morgan. Like what's she jealous of? Are we gonna have Liv Morgan get her her partner Tyler Bate first, Daniel Bryan? Oh, actually, wait. That actually sounds like a good match. I didn't have Daniel Bryan in my WrestleMania fans. Liv Morgan, Tyler Bate first, Daniel Bryan. <laughs> and Brie Bella. After Tyler Bate wins the world title. We can have that. With Enzo Mori, a special guest referee. You know, obviously ex-partner of Liv Morgan. And Big Cass just there on his uh, crutches. But yeah, what did you think of what happened to Liv Morgan, Cupid Girl? Because um, there's a page I follow on Facebook, can't remember the name. And he was saying about like accidents happen all the time in the ring. I never know what's going to happen. I remember a while ago, Chris Jericho against Neville. When Neville rolled his ankle, I believe he done. And he called to stop the match, and uh, the ref didn't know what was going on. And I had a little argument in the ring. And I think Jericho got him on his podcast to talk about it, and he said, I didn't know what you were shouting at, I just thought you was being a hill, you know. Yeah, I just said it was an accident, you know, accidents happen in the ring. Right, let's see if I've got any um, more questions on the old Twitter Right, um, I think every time I come on here, you see some breaking news come up. I did have breaking news, but I don't remember what it was. Uh, apart from Mark Haskins' tweet, you're, you're on so easily offended, you probably think this tweet is about you. Don't know who that's about. Uh... Joe Hendry's tweeted out. I'm going to play his theme song in a second. Ted Mosby, worst baby face of all time. Ah. Oh. Okay. Joe Hendry's really going for some people in here. you got to go check Hendry's... Um, Ted Mosby, I think Elder Guerrero's tweeted. See also worst payoff of all time. Ah. Oh, okay. Now, I've mentioned Joe Hendry twice there, so I'll play his theme song much longer. Joe Hendry makes things better. He can wrestle, he can sing. Joe Hendry makes things better. Thursday's on Impact Wrestling. Joe Hendry. Alright. Bree's rusty in the ring. She just came back from having a kid. That is very true. That is very true. Uh, is there a girl that's become Rosemary in ICW? I've seen the video. No, that's that's someone different. <laughs> the thing is, I can't remember her name. But she's with uh, Mikey Whiplash. She's actually very good in the ring. But I see um, Jimmy Havoc returned uh, when he went to TNA. Recently, he said he had unfinished business with Rosemary. If that's true. I don't know what the storyline is with that. Oh yeah, ICW's... Like, people who watch ICW, like, it is really good. Entertaining as well. They've got... Um, Kieran Kenny, who was actually a ref. There was basically... I'm not going to say his full name. Joe. Against Chris Renfrew. It was like a... Fourth count anywhere match. It was the longest match in history. Right, I just went on for days, and Kieran Kenny was the ref following Renfrew around. So every time he found him, like trying to find him in like art museums and all that, trying to pin him. Now Kieran Kenny like trained to be a wrestler, and he got offered his contract to wrestle at the Hydro. And it's a twenty-four 
seven rules on this contract. And um, he hasn't defended it, like, only until recently. He's now getting attacked by Kez Evans, attacked him, the first of the attackers, Kez Evans. And he beat Kez Evans in a, a lorry, back of a lorry. Because obviously Kenny's got a, a ref following him as well. The Purge, no, not the Purge, there's a tag team, I can't remember their name. It, it's on YouTube, trying attacking him as well. And they had an argument over. Who's going to pin him? And I can't remember who the other guy was who attacked him. But I know Kez Evans was the only one I knew. Or I've heard of out the uh, people who have attacked him. Mainly, but yeah, it's quite... Uh, something funny there. They've tr- they got a bit of a comedy angle. RCW, but... The rest of it's... All serious. <coughs> Excuse me. But he's, um... It is good. Ah, yes, that is her. That's the one. That's her name. Uh, what else could I um, talk about? Um, Defiant Wrestling, for your Defiant fans out there. They are coming back this Friday, free on YouTube. Now go check them out. They obviously had Will Ospreay first water in the last match. Uh, let me actually... Go find the latest in Defiant Wrestling because they tweeted out. Uh, yes, ICW is fun. If you ever get a chance to come over to the UK, <clears throat> you got to go to a live ICW show. It is brutal. Right, Defiant next show in Sheffield. This is a full card. Uh. Walter first Chris Ridgeway. Oh, he's brilliant, Ridgeway. Bree Priestley first Lana Austin. Um, Alpha Bad first Hunter Bros. Jimmy Havoc and Haskins first Anti Fun Police. You've got to actually check the Anti Fun Police out because the guy in the mask is hilarious. You could just hear him shouting a lot of rubbish. It's so funny. Rampage Brown, the f- first Gabriel Kid. <coughs> These are matches I'm not seeing on my screen at the moment. Marty Kerb, Kirby, first. Oh, God, God's sake. Joe Hendry. Joe Hendry makes things better. He can wrestle, he can sing. Joe Hendry makes things better. Thursdays on Impact Wrestling. Alright. Joe Friend isn't really the same without Adam and Adam, but Simon is really good. I do like Simon. Um, you're saying not like Adam, Pachiti, and whatever his other name is. Oh, damn it. The one who is no longer on Cultaholic. Because of something that happened online. But yeah, as like we said about Adam, I do don't think any of you guys watch Cultaholic, but they are doing some good stuff over there, like since they see thought about leaving what culture and going over there. They have actually got a good segment on uh, Straight to Hell, which uh Ross Tadell does. He had a few like had Chris Renfrew on there, Mark Dallas, Hendry and um he had Dave Melser actually on the other day. Melser was on there. And obviously, what they do is I say five things they want removed from wrestling. And um, uh, Hendry actually mentioned the Fight Forever chant. He said he wants that removed. He goes, you don't want people just to fight forever. He, was, he described it as, like, say, a football match. You don't want them to play football forever, do you? You know, stuff like that. I'm trying to think what Dave Melser said he wants removed. Boy, something silly. You know, you only get a five-star match if your name's Kenny Omega. And, in fairness, Johnny Gogarda got a five-star match. Uh, what else is happening from Defiant? Have they got any breaking news? I'm, I think Henry might do his... theme, not write his own theme... Obviously, Alpha Bad, they've been in, um, 
WOS. There's some reason. Um, boy, I can't remember. I'm very bad at names today. Right, so what else is happening? What else is happening? I'm trying to think because there's some breaking news. Oh, yeah, Millie McKenzie's uh, fighting over in Japan, which is um, quite good news for her. She is facing. I had it earlier. Where is it gone? I had it saved to talk about. Just find one of the uh, NXT UK girls. Why is it coming up? Why is it always when I'm about to read up? Uh, she is I'm wrestling son. Send the girls pro in Japan. I think it's Killer Kelly. I'm not sure if she's facing her. But she ain't booked over there. But she is facing over there. Someone. So it's always worth to check it out. Who she's fighting. Oh. I didn't even know you was here Michael. <laughs> NXT is here. Prestige gimmick. Um. I liked it at first. Um, I don't know if you see. Uh, welcome to the show, Michael. Um, so I don't know if you see ICW. Uh, I think this was last year. He had the defiant title with him, and he was been heel everywhere else. He was saying, but he didn't want to be heel at ICW because he said the fans didn't deserve better from me. But I'm a champion everywhere else, and he's like. He's had a procedure shirt on, he's lifted up the title. And he said, look, and um, even the commentator said, like, there's no doubt that Joe Hendry. Joe Hendry makes things better. He can wrestle, he can sing. Joe Hendry makes things better. Thursday's on Impact Red. Just let you know, Michael, every time I mention his name, his theme song gets played. Now, basically, the announcer said um, he's been successful everywhere else apart from ICW. He's only won the tag title at ICW with Davy Blazy. So that's his only title. He does obviously deserve to be champion at ICW when he had that great match with Lionheart last year. And that's when he turned here after that match because the fans turned on him. It was like Stone Cold first Bret Hart, the double turn. Basically, with Hendry going heel, Lionheart going face. Like, Lionheart is like... He's, I think he's going to be against Jackie Polo. I think that's be the next match. Because he said he wanted to face whoever wins so-and-so match. So, yeah. Uh, I said, welcome, Michael. Have you got any questions? Because I have actually answered your question you asked the other day. Have you got any more questions? Joe Hendry for life. Oh my god, I said it. Joe Hendry makes things better. He can wrestle, he can sing. Joe Hendry makes things better. Thursdays on Impact Wrestling. Welcome, Simon. Damn right, Joe Hendry. Oh my god, I said it again. <laughs> Joe Hendry makes things better. He can wrestle, he can sing. Joe Hendry makes things better. Thursdays on. I'm no longer going to read his name out when it gets mentioned now because I'm going to keep playing it. And the show will just be me playing his theme song. <laughs> but yeah, obviously, I was saying I would like to see the prestigious one, the local hero, in. The main roster was saying to Simon last week, I think he could have a run with the title. You know, like, I don't know, I think Cupid Go said it about a scene contest with Adrian Ingress. Obviously, that Rusev day's finished, so he'll probably be in ICW soon as well. Who knows, he might have that dream match. And then let's throw Enzo in there as well. Why not? We'd have a like, three way singing contest. Good question, Michael. But I did actually answer this question <laughs> in the show. Um, I've now got to remember the match I had. I mentioned four matches I had, if I can remember it. I had a 
United States title four way death match. I had Jimmy Havoc first, Mikey Whiplash first, Ty Dillinger. And um, I can't remember, I think I did have Shinsuke Nakamura or Jeff Hardy as a champion. It was one of them two, but it was an extreme death match. So, and I had Samoan Joe first, Pete Dunne for the United Kingdom Championship. Rampage Brown first, Roman Roids for the Universal title. Um, I had AJ Styles first, Tyler Bate. For the WWE Championship. I had an 8 way ladder match. I cannot remember who I had in that match though. I had Brock Lesnar selling t-shirts at the back. <laughs> um, but we had. Um, Cupid actually did ask a question about. What happened about Liv Morgan. So I did put. Well, after Tyler Bate wins the title, would be Tyler Bate and Liv Morgan first, Daniel Bryan and Brie Bella. <laughs> and a loser gets concussed match, maybe. Oh, no, you can't say that. A loser leaves the UK. You never know. Uh, but I think I would have Drew McIntyre first, Jack Jester in um, the match they had. It was like a Bob Wired match. That's a new one I might have, because Drew McIntyre's last match in the Indies, he actually got ruined by Jack Jester, even though he won. It was a brutal match. I think that's on YouTube as well. So check that out. Uh, and then I even, as well, Mike, I put CM Punk first Colt Cabana in a lawsuit match. So winner takes all. All the marbles. And pre-show I had Funoki first, Ravy Davy. If you don't know who Ravy Davy is, check him out. And um, I, yeah, I had a Legends match as well. Triple H first, Doug Williams. If you don't know who Doug Williams is, look him up. TNA. He was at the ambassador of British wrestling. Right, what else is happening on the Twitter any more news coming in? Because uh, last show we had a few bit of breaking news we had um, pop up during the show. Uh, I don't think we actually have any this week. Uh, apart from WS are doing a live show. They're doing a tour on the start of next year. Uh... <laughs> I had had um, like a Buzzard match on WOS. A buzzard Battle. I didn't actually get to watch it, but Moose appeared in a match, which was a shock. To be fair, Moose. Everyone knows who Moose is. AOP and Drake Maverick. That was just weird seeing Drake Maverick on Raw with Authors of Pain and Baron Corbin, of all people. It was just very weird. I don't know why, I just can't see him there. <laughs> in a vest and a pole match that'll be uh, that'll be something Drake Maverick has got um, adult size clothes on so basically he'll just be falling off anyway the time he gets to it I can't call him Drake Maverick so I'll call him Rockstar Spud I don't know why uh, was Moose a heel in that match or no? I know he's heel on Impact. I haven't actually watched... I didn't actually watch World of Sport Wrestling this weekend. I was um, busy with my son. He weren't actually well. But I didn't actually get a chance. I think he was face. But yeah, I've seen when he turned heel on uh, Impact was a really big shock. Because obviously you've known Moose as a face. You know, he's teaming with uh, Double A, Austin Harris and... Um, the other guy, who I can't remember his name, that Vince McMahon wants to sign to WWE. Oh. But yeah, um, any more questions, anyone? God, I hate doing these shows on my, my own. <laughs> I'm doing well, I'm 55 minutes in. Uh, let's have a look. 
what else we could talk about. Uh, yeah, not many much breaking news this week. Oh yeah, that's actually a good thought. Um, everyone go over and check Noam Dar on Twitter, and I see the pictures he keeps putting up with um, Leo Rush. It is um, amazing. It's just what he keeps doing. I'm looking forward to that match Wednesday night. You know, but it's true what um, I said. He does put on a fake voice, Leo Rush. Nothing about it. You know. Oh wait, I've actually got a few questions here. Uh, they should have the Shield invade two or five live, triple power bomb Drake Maverick and leave. That will get people, people to stay around and watch. I don't know if they're still filming two or five after SmackDown. I'm not sure. Oh, here's news. It's been ten years since my lunatic chick. Ah, that's the one. Nikki Cross, that's the one I saw the other day. Yeah, ten years since she made her debut, Nikki Cross. Now, I'm gutted that she's not in the new 2K19 because her theme song is actually my theme song when I enter the ring. So, that's um, that's a fact there that I am glad she's not in it. And I don't know whose theme song I'll be using this year. Might use Noam Dars again to start it off. Oh, right, oh, it's nearly 12 o'clock at night here. Um, right, let's have a look at if ICW got any more breaking news because they have they released some on the regs. And I did, yes, I did say on the regs. Um, yeah, I said about Jack Jester first, Bram, Bram, who was actually one of the original extension members. Oh, yeah, that's what I could touch on. Yeah, how did Connor beat <laughs> Chad Cable on Raw? <laughs> Connor from the Ascension won a match on Monday Night Raw. When was the last time they, as a team or singles, won a match? I think there was on a long, longer losing streak than uh, Kurt Hawkins. Who, if you don't know, um, check out his uh, journey, they did on actually YouTube. It was almost ten minutes, but I think they put it on the network as well about his losing streak. Now, that's some um, fantasy booking here for Kurt Hawkins. Um, someone tweeted out about Drew McIntyre and Dolph Ziggler go to Baron Corbin about defending the tiles, and it, he said, you could pick your opponent. Uh, they pick Kurt Hawkins and say, we'll be, we're not going to pick your partner, you pick your partner. So, like, say, the main event of Raw, Hawkins comes out on his own, Drew and Sigler laugh because he goes, oh, he got no friends and all that. And, um, a load of near, ten minutes into the match, a load of near falls from Cor uh, Hawkins. God, I'm slowing my words here. Hawkins. Fans are getting behind Hawkins. It's like two on one, he's just picking up on him. Next minute, Sack Rider comes down. Woo, 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 you know it. Runs down, gets the hot tag. Rough Rider to Sigler. Broski boot to McIntyre, tagging Hawkins to get a win. New tag champion. Now that sounds good. I didn't think of that one. I saw that one. So my thing is, um, I was thinking if Seth drops the title to Sigler, the IC title to Sigler, or no, I can't say McIntyre. I don't want McIntyre to lose or Kurt Hawkins. And uh, Sigler goes on a run where he just does not lose to like. Dean or Rollins after he's beat say Dean for the last time like last match will go against him open challenge Heath Slater comes down gets attacked by Kurt Hawkins Hawkins down uh, the shield interrupts cause a distraction they attack Strowman and McIntyre like this still together or McIntyre distracts Sigler, which leads Kurt Hawkins to win the ICW title. Because I do want McIntyre to turn face, even though I like him as a heel. No, 
they really want Nikki Cross on SmackDown. She's been in their live event. Yeah, I, f I reckon Nikki Cross, yeah, will be then. I think she's going to be fighting at the uh, pay-per-view. I'm not sure. But I know she's been involved with SmackDown for a while now. I don't know if she's going to go into there with the group, Sanity, or she's going to go on her own. But obviously I'd love to see her on the main roster. Alright, so question from Michael Chow here. Why did they split up Gable and Jordan just to put Gable back into a tag team with Shelter? Then when that, that team gets big, split up Gable to Raw to put him into another tag team with Rude. WTF, Gable is a great talent solo. I would say yes. He is a really good... Like, I remember his... Uh, was it match with Rusev that I like, gave like higher praise on SmackDown, which was one of my favourite matches of the year. I know it wasn't that long, but it was a it was a showing game of what he's got in the ring. But he just lost to Connor. I can't believe it. You know, of all the people, Connor. You know, Con Hawkins had more chance of winning on Raw than Connor of the Ascension winning on Raw. I'm um, still actually just weird how that. I don't know. I don't know why he's in with Rude, to be fair. You know, the next breakout tag team is our Truth and Tide Dinger. You know, K Quick. Get that gimmick back. Our Truth won't try and pin Carmella as much. Um. Oh, yeah, I was just saying about the um, good housekeeping match on. Um, ICW, the second one. I've just literally about to tweet out a picture. Uh, everyone check on Twitter. That this was on ICW. A giant sponge. I can't believe it. But yeah, um, I don't know. I don't really like talking about the main roster anymore. Be fair, it frustrates me. Apart from, I did enjoy the um, tag team match, the revival first, Magatine and Ziggler. Obviously, I know the lowdown show will touch up on this as well, but even Vince McMahon liked this match. And that's saying something for him to like a match, you know. But yeah, um, any more last minute questions before I, I could wrap up the show? If you do, send them in now. Uh, where else can I touch that one here? I remember what you were saying about the show, Michael. It is hard to do it on your own. But I did have a lot of notes in this week. But I think I read them out in 20 minutes. You know what? <laughs> I see Wolfgang hold that sponge and I was laughing. <laughs> it was just so weird. Where the hell did the sponge come from? You know, like I like these gimmick matches ICW have. It's just like the death match is unreal. Liam Thompson winning his sink back, a washing machine for a sink. You know, stuff like that. You know, um, uh, Nikki Cross. Uh, I don't know if she was in ICW for that long. Nikki Cross. Um, uh, was she in it for that long? I can't actually remember how long she was in it for, Nikki Cross. Um, how long was she? Yeah, she was in there for a while, Nikki Cross. Uh, I think she was called Nikki Storm then. Yeah, she was alright in there. She weren't there that that long, well, see, she got over big time. And it's got a lot of wealth. Well, that WWE actually signed her. She, like, she deserved it. She debuted there in 2010. Well, obviously, a lot of um, I just know a lot of the UK talent do actually come from ICW that signed to WWE. I know they got like a deal on the site. I think they got like a good contract with WWE because um, Triple H appeared there last year with Pete Dunne, and Mark Dallas was like this. Oh, I've I've got friends and all that in WWE. 
Yeah, that's right. Business type. They are already ad advertising TLC in December main event. The Shield first Braun Strowman. Oh, for God's sake, in a TLC match. That's three months away. They've got the the, the match at the old Crown Penis Jewels, where they call it. Well, that's what it is. Like they got that match coming up. Like what's like? Is a title not going to be defended? Is Reigns going to drop the title to someone? Is like, I think if Ziggler and Drew are still tag champions, Rollins and Reigns are still their title holders. Yeah. Them tiles are not going to be defended at TLC. So what's the point? You might as well have the greatest Royal Rumble where all tiles are on the line. Where I think in Impact they had... <laughs> they had someone... Um, it was like a match where all the tiles were on the line and Simone Joe won. Crown <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, they should have then. I was letting you know everyone I have, have been drinking today, so... Stuff like that will be coming out. <laughs> but yeah, as you say, yeah, Mike, three months away, that is just crazy. Like, if they was planning... Uh, like, they normally plan Lesnar's matches three months away, like, in advance. Lesnar first reigns for the thousandth time for the Universal title. You know, I'm not thinking of the Crown Jewels, they've got the title match. I was thinking of... um. The match they're doing in Australia. The uh, six-man match. Oh. But yeah, I've seen the, um, the latest news on Shawn Michaels, apparently, yeah, coming out of retirement. Um, a lot of people are saying him and Triple H first, Undertaker and Kane. But I know the match, like Undertaker first, Triple H, um, Kane's actually in Undertaker's corner. I didn't know that. I thought Kane weren't allowed to be on these events because he's obviously mayor. Is it going to be corporate Kane? Is it going to be mayor Kane? Who knows? And a lot, a lot of uh, rumours were going about that Stone Cold was going to be special referee. Which I was down for that. You know, Steve Austin, all I've seen him in the ring. You know. But yeah, it was f false, false rumours. So, yeah. Not happy. Survivor Series is coming up. Raw first SmackDown. Which champion, first champion, do you want to see? Which champion, first champion? Um, oh, uh, Seth Rollins first. Shinsuke Nakamura. I think that'll work. Nakamura first. Seth Rollins. Or how long is Jeff Hardy out for? Because I could have had Jeff Hardy first. Seth Rollins. You know. Yeah, you do your picks, Mike. I'll read out mine, then I'll read out yours. Um, yeah, go on. I'll go for Nakamura first, Seth Rollins. Uh, obviously, Reigns is going to still be the champion. Uh, uh, Reigns first, Styles, or it might be actually Reigns first, The Miz. Which I don't know if they want to do face first face because it's either the Miz or Orton. They'll put a title on if they're going to do the Survivor Series thing, you know. And obviously, the New Day first, the Revival. I don't. I think it's about time they've won the titles, title back. And yeah, I'll go for Becky Lynch first, Ronda Rousey. I'd have that. I'll be game for that, even though I think Shayla Baisley would end up appearing on SmackDown. But yeah, um, Roman Raw, Daniel Bryan, SmackDown. Is that as a world champion on the show? Uh, what is uh, Challenge vs. Champion? Oh, I don't need to do the 5 on 5. Because I'll have them if I did a 5 on 5. Um, I'd have Finn Balor as captain for Raw with Dean Ambrose, Braun Strowman, Dolph and Drew. And SmackDown, I'd have 
it's got to be the bar. I'll throw the bar in there. Um, I'll, uh, see, I don't know. Um, if Orton ain't the champion, I'd have him in there. And um, I'll put Daniel Bryan there as well. It will obviously just depends who the champion is and the Miz if um you don't win the title. Oh, run the Rousey first Oscar. Now that will be a good match. I'd like to see that match. And so it's just very slow on here when Michael's messaging here, that's taking a while to load in. Um uh, what was I saying? Yeah, a few good matches. But I don't know about who will I have Reigns against, you know. Reigns against Pete Dunne. Pete Dunne appears on SmackDown, wins the title. There you go. That will be best for business. Dolphin Drew first the Usos. Oh, how did I forget about the Usos? You know, one of my favourite. I know I like the not New Day, but I, the Usos of the Hill was brilliant. Obviously, they beat um, Debara last year. Survivor Series. It could be like a series, actually. They could have had if the Bar stayed on um, Raw. The Bar Raw Tag Champions still, and Usos win them back. Because remember, two years ago. The Bar were the last surviving team first. The Usos, the Bar won. The Usos beat them the following year. We could have had um, a final match. You know, stuff like that. Good joy. You could even have the Legends match on there from Raw, SmackDown vs. Raw. Chris Jericho still won SmackDown. Him against Kurt Angle. You could have stuff like that, or... Oh, Commissioner Shane McMahon first Baron Corbin, if he's still... Constable Corbin. Oh, well, you know, they'll end up putting Kurt Angle first Shane McMahon again, they'll do that storyline. In a street fight. I know Shane will jump off something. Finn Balor first AJ Styles Part 2. Hmm. With Gallows and Anderson on commentary. Sounds like a good match. But then Darkness appears. Shock the system, unspewed error, hit the ring. Attack both men after the match. How about that for a story storyline? WWE book me in. I'm available. I could give you good stories like that. Apart from the lawsuit angle, I'm keeping that one. Yeah, any more questions as Michael is still uh, doing his matches? Um, let's have a look at a bit of a simmer. I think news has popped up because my phone's flashing. Let me have a quick look. Uh oh. Okay. What event is this? Because uh, Loki is a world champion somewhere. Uh, Rich Swan's actually getting a lot of bookings. Is this TNA? I don't know. Because I've seen um, on October the fourth. Sammy Callahan, Callahan, whatever his name is, first Jimmy Havoc in a spin the wheel make a, make the deal match. No idea what that is, but it's got him in it, so it's got to be good. Everything involving Jimmy Havoc is good. No, oh, Drake Mavericks tweeted out. The Hounds of Justice were no match for AOP.
when someone puts day one, mate. Mm. Stuart knows the best. Uh, hmm. Jimmy Havoc was there again. I remember them on the. Right, so hi Craig, and I'll, and he'll give you Joe Hendry. Ah, oh, I've said it again. Joe Hendry makes things better. He can wrestle. He can sing. Joe Hendry makes things better. Thursdays on Impact Wrestling. Hideo Tommy Cruz, but champion for Shinsuke Nakamura, U.S. champion. Can I add Fanoki as a special guest referee with Tata Shisanoku? I think I've got that on one. <laughs> on commentary. I loved Kai and Sai, that was great. Um, I actually agree with most dangerous man in wrestling at the minute. You know, I think Havoc stepped in bare glass, uh, the match in Impact, recently. Triple H and Stephanie McMahon were all first. Andrew Cian and Fega SmackDown. This match would never happen, but a fan can dream. <laughs> well, I'm still dreaming of uh, the Liv Morgan and Tyler Bate first, Brie Bella and Daniel Bryan. Does say the concussion was a work. And then that match will uh, get some heat. Tyler Bate and Liv Morgan as the uh, faces we would have that in the UK as well. The fans will fans will turn on Daniel Bryan and make him heel. Uh, why is my thing coming up? Hint plug in headphones. I don't know why that's coming up now. There you go. I've knocked it off now. Uh. Tess and Ricochet first, Almost and Vega, yeah. Well, we'll spray and Brie Priestley first, um. You know, who else could we have? Um. Ty Dillinger, Peyton Royce, is that correct? Kenenza. <laughs> With Nikki Bella in the corner of, uh, Daniel Bryan and Cena in the corner of Liv Morgan. <laughs> Oh, did it break up? I didn't know that. You know, I'm far, far behind on that. DCT and Fiverr. First, um... Triple H and Stephanie McMahon. Nia Jax and Luke... Luke Gallows. I know it never happened. You know, but that was a quite funny little Twitter exchange. That was going on. And I said that fairly posh. Don't know why that come out posh. Um, I'm thinking all these other ones now. Uh, you can't have AJ Styles or Wendy because you know Samoa Joe will be all over that. Uh, yep, yeah, Tessa already posted pictures up on Instagram with another dude. Ooh, who's she with now? Enzo Amore. Imagine that, Enzo Mora and that. I said there was cheating involved on both sides. Ah. Get them on the Jeremy Carl show. If you don't know what that is in the US, um, I think he actually does a, a US show over there as well, Jeremy Carl. You get some weird people people on that show they don't represent what the UK is just don't get involved with it <laughs> actually uh, someone who drinks in a pub where I go was actually on that show enough of that uh, Keith Lee and Mia Yim my first Joe Janna and Pingle Ford I've seen a bit of them, Keith, um, not Keith Lee, the other guys. Keith Lee, Keith Lee. Bast in his glory. Michael Chow's favourite. That is very true, that is very true. 
the fact that is they hired Matt Hardy based on that storyline. They rehired Hardy and he does. When I was watching that feud, I was thinking, is this real or not real? You know, many things go in the world of things that man's mind. Also, Vince McMahon tries to break up relationships as well. With uh, Lana and Rusev, he tried to break him up. You know. Yeah. Um, any more questions, guys? If I wrap up the show, which I don't think has been a great show. You know, I had all my notes written out. I think I went through them a bit too quick. But I have tried. I was on my own today. You know, I didn't know Chloe wanted to get involved. Could have had some help. But yeah. See, I thought it was um, thus a story at first with Matt and Leo. I didn't know they was actually dating. To be fair. You know. Um... <sighs> Oh, thank you, Michael. I hope was that was about the show. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, what's the name of Matt Hardy's uh, wife now? I can't think of her name. She didn't want um, Hardy to be near Lita when um, at the Royal Rumble because of the whole thing that went on in his Woken universe. Who knows, who knows. Yes, that's the name. Thank you very much. Ruby. A lot of things I didn't know when Beth Phoenix married Edge. I didn't know, because I remember Beth Phoenix was going out with CM Punk. I thought originally. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, Cena got Kenny Dolls to fight off. Cena stole Mickey James. Cena can't be trusted. Get the shovel. Well, Mickey James is doing alright now. You know, she's with a UK guy. That's had a great match at All In with the man, Cody Rhodes. But yeah, um, thank you for everyone. Who joined in on the show? It is nearly half twelve at night here, and I need to get to bed to go to work in the morning. But yeah, um, probably same time next week. Um, I don't know if Simon or Chloe is about, but I'll see what I could do with stuff next week. But yeah, I hope you all enjoy the show, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Joe Hendry makes things better. He can wrestle, he can sing. Joe Hendry makes things better. Thursdays on Impact Wrestling. The moment has arrived. This is NXT UK. Here with the dragons, so we back up in here. Still fighting for the